let's say that you liked Verity by Colleen Hoover, which is a very spooky book, and you're thinking, oh gosh, what can I read next? First of all, may I suggest Still Life by Joy Fielding. It has a lot of those same gothic horror suspense elements and still includes a wife in a coma and an unreliable narrator. For a very similar, deeply distressing vibe, I suggest Bittersweet. Different kind of plot, but you do not want to read this before you go to bed. If you just gotta have that romantic subplot angle, The Wife Upstairs is fantastic for an unreliable narrator and generally unlikable characters who you still wind up loving. Similarly, The Girl Before will keep you kind of on the edge of your seat, and it's one that I have read more than once. My absolute favorite in this genre is The Wife Between Us, although I will read anything by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. This is their first book that they wrote together. I personally think it's their best. Also, they are great. They will say nice things to you if you say nice things about them on Twitter. I just think it's fantastic. I wish I could tell you more, but I do not want to spoil this. I have read it multiple times, and every time I find a new detail, I missed. And then obviously there's Gone Girl. In the same genre as The Housekeeper, I certainly found it a distressing read. I didn't find it particularly satisfying. I've never read it over again, but it will give you that same kind of flavor. I honestly think you'd be better off reading The Pisces. It's got an unreliable narrator who is deeply unlikable, but it's still a very satisfying read, especially after a breakup. Another breakup book that I go to is You Think It, I'll Say It. It's a series of short stories, and they've all got that kind of thread of weird running through it. Just, if you like these other ones, you might like this. And if you just want something weird, read Saki. If you like your characters less unlikable and more complicated, Taylor Jenkin Reads is the place to go. Maybe in Another Life also includes elements of a prolonged hospital stay, so if that was your jam, there you go. I personally preferred After I Do, though. These two are just a little more uplifting. And if you want to go all the way to the other end of the spectrum, you always have pretty much anything by Joe Hill. His work is relatively uplifting at the end, but you slog through a lot to get there. Also, he is my favorite author, and these are two of my favorite books of his. Strong trigger warning on heart-shaped box, especially if you do the audio version. It put me in a light trance at different points. I tried to go through and put trigger warnings on each of the books, but honestly, they're just each such a giant ball of triggers. So if you're concerned about something, message me and we'll talk it out. Also, a lot of the triggers are spoilers, so seriously, just DM me. We'll, we'll talk it out. And let me know what your suggestions are, too.